Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be an update video on the Fatale Rea after so long of not really having any updates on them. First things first, let's check out the nests. And uh, this is nest number one and you can see that it is absolutely filled to the brim with workers and brood. In fact, actually, they need an upgrade at the moment, but I cannot give them it until I am back from my trip, which is going to be about two weeks from now. So they're going to just have to put up with being really crammed inside of their two nests for now. You can really see that they have grown since the last time that you have seen them, seeing as in they filled the entire nest now, just filled with majors, workers, and brood, along with some seeds. Uh, it really does show the absolute, like, intense growth that this species has. Growth so intense, in fact, that before I used to be able to actually find the queen, but now I literally cannot locate her at all inside of these two nests. She is just completely just hidden from sight. You can just see the absolute mass amount of majors that are inside of the colony now. I mean, I remember back when they were just a tiny colony, they only had like two large majors and like maybe one small major and that's it and they rarely ever left the nest. But now, they are just everywhere and they're huge and it's just absolutely awesome. For those of you who do not know, Fidelia rea are the largest Fidelia species in the world. Uh, alongside that, they also have, you know, some of the largest majors in Fidelia, uh, and these majors are mainly used for defense and cracking seeds. They also have a super major cast, which is very hard to tell the difference of, which is why I haven't really attempted to check which ones are supers and which ones aren't. Here you can see some absolutely massive majors. These are probably the biggest majors in the colony at the moment. You can see they just... They're absolutely massive, they're so many times larger than the actual workers themselves, and you can see a good little clump of small brood and eggs there. Of course, now we are in the other nest, which is mainly used for storing, you know, the smaller brood and also some more seeds, but for the most part, this nest is pretty much completely full as well with workers. This entire time I am trying to locate the queen and I think that she's within this clump somewhere. I cannot exactly see her or really confirm it at all, but you can see a massive major right there, but no queen. Here's another absolutely large clump of workers, but it looks like they're just all huddling around a massive major instead of an actual queen. It's pretty much just been like this the entire time I've been trying to locate her. You just really can't find her that well. Of course, also, the outworld is absolutely just constantly moving. You can see all of these workers going out into the outworld just to go out and forage and, you know, trade spots with other workers that are out there foraging. It's almost a constant stream of workers and majors going out there, especially when it's feeding time. As far as food goes, their main diet consists of seeds and protein, but besides from that, uh, I've also been trying to kind of mix it up as well with their proteins. I've actually recently given them a mouse, although I did not record that for some reason. Uh, they did in fact eat the mouse and they still are, uh, but mostly it's just been four to five, six, seven, eight, nine, honestly, whatever I want to throw in for that day. I've been trying to keep it at around five to six cockroaches a day, but now I'm kind of, you know, trying to get them on crickets as well. So I've been throwing in around about six to seven crickets each and every day. You can see just how fast they swarm this outworld when food is getting put into there. Like, it is just absolutely covered in food. And you can see how fast they're actually, you know, moving it around. This was recorded at 30 times speed, so you can just see, you know, how fast it is that they actually end up consuming the food and then just throwing it into the trash because they're done with it. It's just absolutely insane, the speed. I've never seen ants eat food this fast. Well, actually I have because I've had Solenopsis Invicta, which they were absolutely insane, but I think these are way cooler than Invicta. But yeah, anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this update on the Fidelia Rea. I know I've been really waiting and itching to get a video out on them for a very long time. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, then go ahead and like it. And actually, I'm not even gonna do this part. I'll just let outro me go ahead and finish off this video you know, like how I used to let them finish it off. So yeah, take it away, uh, outro me. Thank you all for watching this video. You guys can check out my Instagram where I oftentimes post stories and all sorts of stuff like that. You can also check out the two Discord servers and Keeping Anythology and Ants Anonymous where you can easily get in contact with me. Also check out my Patreon. My Patreon is the best way that you can go ahead and support these type of videos and it would mean a lot to me if you were to go over to become a patron, but you don't have to. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.